Hey guys, this is Misty from The Book Rat, and I am here to give you what may be my quickest TBR to date. This is my TBR for August, or To Be Red Pile, and because Austin in August is this month and I have no idea how much time I'm going to have for reading, it's a very small pile, and then beyond that it'll just be whatever I happen to pick up, if anything. Really quickly, the books that I plan to read or actually finish in August are two that I mentioned in my July Rewind, which were Among the Jay Knights and Mansfield Park. Mansfield Park is, of course, for the read-along, so I have to finish this up so I can write up the response questions and all of that good stuff. And that's a reread, of course. And Among the Jay Knights is a non-fiction look at the sort of Jane Austen fandom, which of course sounds awesome, and the cover is adorable. I have started this one, I'm not very far, but I do like what I've read so far. And this one comes out right at the beginning of this month, so if you are a Jay Knight, or you know a Jay Knight and want to get a look into their head, you can pick it up really soon. Also for Austin in August, I'll be finishing up Ostentatious by Alyssa Goodnight, which I am listening to on an audiobook, and it is hilarious. And I'll be reading Pride and Prejudice, which of course I've read a million times and pretty much have the story memorized word for word, but this one has one slight alteration in that it stars me. <laughs> Basically I was contacted by this company called You Star Novels where you can change character names to be yourself, to be your friends, whatever, and put yourself in the story. And so they asked me if I would like to review one of their You Star Novels, and so about that creepy ass ghost that just zoomed in on me. As I was saying, from Houston Novels I got Pride and Prejudice with me in it, which is probably going to be fairly unsettling, a little trippy, but as a diehard J Knight, how could I pass up the opportunity to put myself in the pages of Pride and Prejudice, falling in love with Darcy within the pages instead of outside of them? Basically just fulfill the dreams of all J Knights everywhere. So this will be an interesting read and fun, and if you are obsessed with any classic novels or know someone who is, you should probably check out Ustar because it makes it kind of really fun, very personalized and interesting collectible as a gift for someone. The only non-Austin August book that I will for sure be reading is The Fairest of Them All by Carolyn Turgeon, and that's because I will be part of the blog tour for this. I just recently recorded the haul that this was in and flipped it open to kind of check out the style and liked it so much that I ended up recording an excerpt of it as well. So though those are not up yet, they will be up very soon, and I'd recommend checking them out because this is a pretty phenomenal beginning. I will be talking more about it and have the blog tour up on August 8th, so make sure you stop by and check that out. And I believe that it's out now, but if it's not, it will be out soon. So if you're in the mood for an adult fairy tale retelling, or you're just intrigued to see how Rapunzel and Snow White get mashed up, I'd recommend picking it up. And that's all I'm for sure counting on reading in August, and I'm not going to do a stack of five this month because, as I said, I just don't know whether I'm going to have the time and I don't want to have the added stress of having a book that I have to read. If it does look like I'm getting through everything and everything's going smoothly and I can work more in, I'll do a mid-month stack of five so you guys can help me decide, but for now I'm just leaving it open-ended and saving myself the stress. So that is all I'm planning on reading for this month. Let me know what you think of the books in the comments. And if you are an Austinite or you're just curious, make sure to stop by Austin in August, which starts on the 18th. That's all for now. As always, happy reading!